Hello, welcome to U.S. Immigration News. Today, we have some significant updates on U.S. immigration and border policies that promise to bring about positive changes. President Joe Biden has introduced two major policy initiatives aimed at addressing the pressing challenges of migration and garnering voter support. If you are interested in any of these topics, please stick around till the end of this video for your immigration updates. If you like this video, please hit the bell button, subscribe, and like it so that you may get updates straight to your smartphone or other smart devices YouTube page whenever there are any new ones. President Joe Biden is gearing up for a crucial debate with his rival, Donald Trump, armed with new immigration and border policies that his supporters hope will bolster his standing among voters. Biden announced these policies in June seeking to tackle migration issues and appeal to the electorate. The first policy is an asylum ban intended to reduce illegal crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border, and the second is a sweeping legalization effort for long-term residents married to U.S. citizens. These moves illustrate the delicate balancing act Biden is performing as he seeks another term in the White House. During Biden's presidency, record numbers of migrants have been apprehended while attempting to cross the U.S.-Mexico border illegally making immigration a top concern for voters ahead of the November 5 election. To address these concerns, Biden has toughened his approach to border enforcement, responding to criticism from Trump, who adopted hardline immigration policies during his 2017-2021 presidency and has pledged a significant crackdown on immigration if re-elected. A Reuters poll in mid-May showed that registered voters prefer Trump's approach to immigration over Biden's by a 17 percentage point margin. This issue is likely to be a key topic when the two candidates face off in their debate on Thursday in Atlanta. Earlier this year, Biden pushed for the passage of a bipartisan Senate border security bill, but the effort was blocked by Republicans in February after Trump voiced his opposition. On June 4, Biden rolled out a new policy that barred most migrants who illegally crossed the U.S.-Mexico border from seeking asylum. He stated that this executive action was necessary to curb illegal immigration in the absence of legislative solutions. The policy aims to quickly deport migrants arriving at the border to their home countries or to Mexico, rather than releasing them into the U.S. where they might face years-long waits to resolve their cases in court. In recent weeks, the number of migrants apprehended at the border has decreased, though U.S. officials say it is too soon to determine whether this trend will continue. While the crackdown on illegal crossings was driven by polling data showing that most Americans want tighter border controls, the White House has also considered other polls indicating that pro-immigrant actions, particularly those targeting Latino voters, could be advantageous. A poll by the advocacy group Immigration Hub showed strong voter support, especially among Latinos, for a move to legalize spouses of U.S. citizens. This poll, along with pressure from Democrats and advocates, encouraged Biden to offer a path to citizenship for approximately 500,000 spouses of U.S. citizens, the majority of whom are long-term residents from Mexico. Biden's campaign pollster, Matt Barreto, who conducted the Immigration Hub survey, noted that Americans tend to view migrants at the border differently from long-term residents. People want strict border enforcement but also fair treatment for those who have lived and worked in their communities for years. When it comes up in focus groups and we say, what about the person who cleans your house? What about the person who takes care of your children or your elderly mother? Barreto said. They love them. On the other hand, Trump's campaign has criticized Biden's new policies and pointed to voter support for deportations. A Reuters poll in May found that over half of U.S. voters supported deporting most or all immigrants in the country illegally. Trump campaign spokesperson Caroline Levitt stated that Trump, if re-elected, would initiate the largest criminal deportation operation of illegal immigrants and restore the rule of law from day one in office. While Trump has signaled some openness to skilled, legal migration, he emphasized that only after the most aggressive vetting process in U.S. history would the most skilled graduates who can make significant contributions to America be allowed to stay. Meanwhile, Latino community organizers are hopeful that Biden's legalization initiative for spouses will help re-engage some Latino voters. Mi Familia Vata, a nonpartisan organization active in 10 states, including key battleground states like Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia, plans to highlight Biden's spouse legalization effort in their voter outreach. Hector Sanchez Barba, executive director of Mi Familia Vata, described the initiative as significant, saying, this is a big deal for the Latino community. In addition to these policies, Biden has introduced new measures to promote family unity in the immigration process, consistent with his administration's commitment to keeping families together. Current law allows non-citizens married to U.S. citizens to apply for lawful permanent residency through their marriage. However, 
many non-citizens must first leave the United States and wait to be processed abroad, resulting in prolonged, and potentially indefinite, separation from their U.S. citizen family members. This causes tremendous hardship and uncertainty for these families. To address this issue, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, has established a new process to consider, on a case-by-case basis, requests for certain non-citizen spouses of U.S. citizens who have lived in the United States for 10 years or more, do not pose a threat to public safety or national security, and are otherwise eligible to apply for adjustment of status. If eligible, these non-citizens will be able to apply for lawful permanent residency without having to leave the United States. DHS estimates that approximately 500,000 non-citizen spouses of U.S. citizens could benefit from this process, and around 50,000 children of these spouses may also be eligible. Today's actions build on unprecedented steps by the Biden-Harris administration to strengthen family unity, including implementing family reunification parole processes for nationals of several countries, updating and modernizing processes for Cuban and Haitian nationals, and leading efforts to reunify nearly 800 children with their families who were previously separated. To be eligible for the new process, individuals must be present in the United States without admission or parole, have been continuously present for at least 10 years as of June 17, 2024, and have a legally valid marriage to a U.S. citizen by that date. They must also have no disqualifying criminal history or otherwise pose a threat to national security or public safety. Non-citizen children of potential applicants may also be considered for parole if they are physically present in the United States without admission or parole and have a qualifying stepchild relationship to a U.S. citizen. Individuals interested in this process will need to file a form with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, along with supporting documentation and pay a fee. Further information regarding eligibility and the application process, including a notice in the Federal Register, will be published soon. USCIS will reject any filings received before the application period begins later this summer. Upon receiving a properly filed request, USCIS will determine, on a case-by-case basis, whether parole is warranted and if the applicant merits a favorable exercise of discretion. All requests will be thoroughly vetted to ensure the integrity of the program and address potential fraud. In addition to these measures, DHS will collaborate with the Department of State to streamline the process for certain employment-based non-immigrant visas, including for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, DACA, recipients and undocumented non-citizens who have graduated from accredited U.S. institutions of higher education. This collaboration aims to give U.S. employers increased confidence that they can hire the talent they need and help individuals get to work quickly. These initiatives reflect a thoughtful and comprehensive approach to immigration, balancing the need for border security with the goal of creating a fair and humane system that recognizes the contributions of long-term residents. President Biden's new policies signify a commitment to addressing the complex challenges of immigration while promoting family unity and fairness. We look forward to seeing how these changes will positively impact communities across the nation. That's all we have for you in this bulletin. I hope you found this video useful. We will continue to keep a close eye on the developments as immigration-related updates and will publish new videos when there are more updates. The U.S. Immigration News Channel provides all necessary visa information and procedures for your U.S. immigration journey. It is important to understand the United States immigration processing steps, visa application requirements, processing times, forms, fees, and more. We will continue to provide all information about U.S. visitor visas such as B-1 and B-2, work visas such as L-1A, L-1B, and H-1B, student visas, green cards, immigrant visas, EB-1, EB-2, EB-3, EB-4, and EB-5, and family immigrant visas. Thank you for visiting us today, and we'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe channel for more U.S. immigration update videos.